Hi everyone, myself Ranjani Ganeshan. Today we will be learning one of the important topic in observability called as CloudWatch Synthetics. So we will see how to monitor your web application using CloudWatch Synthetic. A small introduction about myself. Myself, Ranjani Ganeshan. I work as a senior software developer at Relix. I am also a contributor in Medium. I write blogs on FinOps. And I also speak at a few of the events. So today we will see how to monitor your web point and even before the customer complains, you get to know about your status of your endpoint. So we will see what is AWS Synthetic Canaries, how it helps us to monitor an endpoint. So AWS Synthetic Canaries are nothing but Node.js or Python scripts, which does the browser automation using Selenium WebDriver on behalf of you. AWS Synthetic Canary also uses headless Chrome with the help of Selenium WebDriver. It automates the website logins. AWS Synthetic Canary has capability of monitoring your responsiveness of your website as well as capture the screenshots and latency. Let's explore AWS Synthetic Canary architecture. We have Canary scripts. The script contains the automation of your web point using the browser. From the browser, these scripts are uploaded to Lambda. The Lambda runs the script and pushes the result to CloudWatch. The CloudWatch has a separate namespace for synthetic canaries. These dashboards are monitored by SREs to understand the responsiveness of the websites. It gives us the HTTP response code and as well as latency and other metrics. So today we will see a demo. We will create a we will create a demo and log into awsfundamental.com. So let's see how do we do that. So to create a canary, you have to go to CloudWatch. In the CloudWatch, you have to click on Create Canary. If you are not sure about Python or Node.js script, use a blueprint. Check for Use a Blueprint. Click on Heartbeat Monitor because we will monitor whether awsfundamentals.com is up and running or not. We will just give the canary name as AWS Fundamentals. So I am good at Python, so I'll be selecting Python. You have to provide the URL which has to be monitored. So I want to monitor awsfundamental.com. So after you provide the endpoint, you wanted to click on run once. I want this canary checks to be run once. You can also use a cron expression or run in different frequencies like once in every five minutes or 10 minutes. For this demo, I'm selecting run once. The results are uploaded to the S3 bucket. The role which is created by the scannery has enough permission to push the logs to the S3 bucket specified here and 
also has permission to push the metrics to the CloudWatch. You can run the scannery within the VPC or outside the VPC. Provide the tags for the canaries and click on Create Canary. Create Canary takes few minutes. Once the canary has been created, let's run the canary and see the results. Meanwhile, I have already run a canary and I have the results here. So let's explore it. You can use this and learn how to create a canary. So I, I have specified the same thing which I showed before. So these are my canary results. So once you're able to reach the website, your canary should be passed. And these are the HTTP calls it makes to awsfundamentals.com. And this is the screenshot which is captured by your canary. The advantages of using canary is you detect your endpoint even before the customer complains, which helps you to reduce your downtime. As canaries are capable of capturing the latency, you are able to increase the performance. The price for the canaries for each API calls which it makes is less than $1, which excludes the Lambda and S3. If you like this demo, please connect with me on LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn handle. So let's see the canary results of the canary which we created here. So we created a canary called as AWS Fundamentals. It is in a stopped state. So the last run is passed and the results of the canary. So we are able to reach AWS fundamental web page. And these are the logs. With these logs are saved to S3 bucket. And these are the HTTP calls which it has made to reach this website. Thanks everyone.